Johnny Thunder, he was a good friend of mine. I thought of the name The Living Dead for this sort of ad hoc group. And we used to play down the speakeasy with me and him playing guitars and Sid Vicious playing bass and Kelly playing drums. You know. Well, Sid wanted to form a band with Johnny because Johnny was his hero. Can you tell me about your last tour of America? Because I believe that it was sort of almost the end, everything sort of went wrong. Um, well, the worst thing is that we had to cancel the last 30 gigs of the tour because I was going to be extradited to California to face charges of attempted murder and assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, how exactly? Um, I remember it me and it grabbed hold of me and pushed me up against the wall. And not being big enough to, you know, because I'd have broken my hands if I'd have hit them. So I learned that years ago. And uh, didn't have any other weapons apart from the car. And apparently that's a deadly weapon in America. So you, so you ran the guy over? Yeah, yeah. It was really got great pleasure out of seeing his face change from smiling to sheer horror in slow motion as I hit him. And because he thought I was bluffing to begin with, I think. And so we got out the, the state quickly and went to New York. But they got the number of the car and traced me to CBS. And CBS promised them that I'd go back to San Francisco on the Sunday. And we had to, so we left the country and just blew out the rest of the gigs. Presumably that was almost the end in terms of relations with the record company. They were um, I don't know, I don't, I don't suppose it helped. In the end, um, Hertz paid the guy some money. He paid him seven grand or something. They, they paid him seven grand to drop the charges. Right, and that, that was the end of it. Mm. Did you? That's good of Hertz, thank you Hertz. <laughs> 1985. Last time I'd been drug free any amount of time, you know, I was in there for a month, and I found that I actually really enjoyed listening to music again, and it started turning me on. What's your attitude to nowadays, there's a lot of technology involved in making records, what, what's your attitude towards all that, because presumably you just played the well, guitar? Well, if, if I can learn to conquer the technology, it's, it'll be great, you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously it's a bit daunting being away for so long, because everything's changed a lot, but you know, I think it's an asset, you know, I don't think it's something that... Unless, you know, you're somebody that relies totally on it. You know what I mean? I don't believe in people just nicking bits of other people's records. I think it's disgusting. I'm surprised that it's allowed by law, you know. Tell us about your new songs. Well, they're basically about my life, <laughs> as always. Um, there's one song called Place of Safety, which is about um, the social services trying to take the kids away, which is what happens. You know, when Jamie, my youngest kid, was born, you know, one day we went to the hospital and he wasn't there anymore and they wouldn't tell us where he was. He'd some foster parents and, you know, it took a long time to get him back. So that was obviously quite an emotional thing to go through and I couldn't help but write a song about it. All around There's an epidemic If 